Howdy, it's Mr. Pete again, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is the eighth, and I promise, the final issue episode of me talking about index plates. I know I beat the subject to death, and I'll tell you how I know. That last video, which was number seven, nobody watched it. I know you didn't, because nobody watched it. It concerned this. I won't say any more about that, but this is a little bit something different here. Stay with me. Okay, this is the entire series of eight videos, and this one is number 627, and it's all about making dividing head plates with a 3D printer, and this is really the only sensible one out of the entire group. Okay, in the last video there was a teaser about what's in here, but <laughs> since you didn't watch that, I'll show you what's in there. Here are two plates 3D printed by my friend Ted in Wisconsin. He's a cheesehead, you know, a retired dentist, great guy. I'll show you a picture of him here real quick. He did the 3D printing and mailed these to me, and he did the CAD modeling. I think he uses Confusion 360, but this is the most sensible uh, method of all because well, I didn't have to do anything. Ted did the work. But even if you're good at it, uh, it's so much easier than any of the other methods here, such as, you know, drilling these, especially if you do not need these to be very durable. Now, they'll be quite durable, actually. But maybe in a production setting where you need 100,000 parts, you know, certainly going to wear out. But then again, you'll see a lot of wear on some of these plates. So, this also could be made out of ABS. He didn't make a whole set of these. He just made uh, two out of the group, but they fit perfectly. Let's take a look. You know, there are some pretty astute observers of what I'm doing here, and they pointed out, I wasn't going to bring it out, but they pointed out that these sector arms are not long enough here for this outer row, and they're not. You'd have to make a new set of them. And somebody else said, well, can you actually tighten them? And I'm using uh, this type of Allen wrench for that because there's a little bit of interference there. But yes, they can be adjusted. And several people wanted to know if I was going to ever show how to make a set of sector arms, which I also call a spider. No, uh, they're self-explanatory. I, I have no intentions of doing that because now I have these. And then somebody else pointed out that, and they were quite right, that this will not reach to the outer row as well. As you can see here. And that's because, remember, these last two plates, yeah, these, do not belong on this particular lathe dividing head, so that's why they're they're larger in diameter is what they are. Oh, I'm disorganized here. You can see how much larger in diameter they are. But enough on that. Let's put the plastic ones on. This is my buddy Ted Socorro when we were up at Arnfest several years ago. I know it's a bad picture because I took it off the computer and put it on my phone and it has degraded, but uh, he's a good guy. He's kind of funny, too. Okay, and thank you, Ted, so much for doing that. And here is what we have. Now, what Ted told me, he said, if I had to do these over, I would have put the numbers on them. That's the only thing that he didn't do, and it's not a big deal for me, but the numbers right here are not on them. So between the original plate that I have and this one and this one, I believe I have a complete set of plates. At least it's more than what I'm ever going to use on this because I, I'm, I'm only going to use it once actually. But note here that this hole is just the right size and we got countersunk holes here so this will fit right on. Now, I know the white does not show up too well. Now, I have a question to pose to the viewers. 
why do most of you seem to find 3D printing so objectionable and that you will not watch my videos on that and I know you think I'm playing around with plastic and all of that but I, I'm disappointed that some people do not see the possibilities in this. Now I'm not saying you need to run out and get a 3D printer because I don't really enjoy using mine. But I am amazed at what they can do and the technology and if you're older the technology really can blow you away that, that I can make foundry patterns and things like that and then change the size. And For instance if Ted screwed up on this and this was a little bit too small he could uh, enlarge it or reduce it or whatever he needs to do without changing the sizes on other things. Also if he's in the mood he can go back and add the numbers to this. Now he won't be in the mood and this job is done so we don't really care but you can make all of those changes and I just find that so amazing compared to what you can do with metal and the, the amount of work that it is required to make one of these out of metal. Ted is the one that made the pattern, 3D pattern, for this oil can holder that's on the drill press. Do you remember that? Well there it is. And that worked out just great, didn't it? So consider this method if you are able to do uh, 3D printing and CAD drawing for making plates. You know, it's just wonderful. Alright, uh, I have beaten that subject to death, I'm well aware. But in a future video I will be using this Remember, this is a lathe dividing head. I've talked a lot about it, but perhaps you have not seen the other videos. But I will be using this in an upcoming video, and let me show you what the project will be real quickly. Just a short preview of that. You may remember me talking about this. This is a teaching aid for an inside micrometer given to me by Dale Derry some time ago and I'm just now getting to it but I needed a way of dividing a circle so I could lay out the graduations here on the thimble. Now I know there's all kinds of other easy ways to do it but I thought I gotta have some something to to use this on so the whole purpose here is remember to stand in front of a class of 20 boys and say okay boys now here's how you read this you in the back row can you see well, I can't see it from here, for crying out loud. So this is a teaching aid that could be held up in front of a class. Of course, now everything's electronic, This, this, and this was never finished. Dale gave this to me, but it was unfinished. I'm experimenting here in uh, off-camera, uh, I guess I'm on-camera, with graduations and all of that, and how I'm going to do the graphics for this. But I'll do the, the layout right here on the lathe using this and that's what it, that's what I'm gonna do so alright I hope you got something out of this video and this video series let me know if you have again let me know why you do not like 3, 3D printing and and uh, and go ahead and give thumbs down on that and then maybe I can count and figure out uh, what I'm doing wrong here so Thank you for watching, and this is Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, saying so long for now, and I'll see you next time.